Big thanks to Simply Safe for sponsoring this mission. In my last video of the USS Banana Slug, I calculated that it should be able to go 70 miles or 113 kilometers with the amount of battery on board. Up until that point, the furthest it had ever driven was only 13 kilometers, so I wanted to do a bit more of a shakedown before I had the confidence to set out for a much longer mission. To do this, I chose the windiest day I could find and put the boat in the water to see how it would do. At first, it was not able to turn into the wind at all. This was mainly because the air propeller would throttle down during turns. But this is where a lot of its turning authority came from, since the motor would pivot with the rudder. To fix this, I increased the minimum PWM for the air motor so that it would never turn off. After that, the boat was able to hit all its waypoints. There it goes, she's turning now. Power, needs more power. This little test ended up saving me on my next mission, which was a 30 mile route all the way along Banks Lake in eastern Washington. Oh, what an adventure it turned out to be. Good morning. It's 3 a.m. and I just woke up. I just arrived at the lake. I was here last night kind of scoping it out. There's a dam right here, so I'm going to launch the boat basically right off the dam. I'm starting this early in the morning to hopefully avoid boats. Whoa, look at the moon. That's super spooky. Just powered on the boat. I'm going to get mission planner connected here. Okay, I'm going to drive it in manual mode a little bit just to make sure it goes. Sure does go. Fantastic. Let's start this mission. Oh, there's a bat. Flipping into auto mode now. I just turned off my remote controller, so it's just fully autonomous now. We got a tailwind, which is nice. Little boat, big world. Good luck out there, little buddy. Oh, now what do I do? Go back to sleep or keep monitoring it? We're doing 1.1 meters per second, roughly. It does kind of look like the boat's not tracking perfectly straight. That makes me think maybe seaweed got caught on one side, but hopefully not. It's going to be a long day. I think this should take about 12 hours. So I got the computer here riding co-pilot. We are just exiting the park, heading to the next observation point. It's crazy that I'm still getting good telemetry signal even when I'm driving through the city here and the boat is way out on the lake. It's going through buildings and everything. That's kind of eerie. There's an airport ahead of me and I can see the beacon. Looks like I'm going off-roading now. Google says this is a road. This looks like a pretty bad road. Really good time for four-wheel drive. Oh yeah, this feels pretty soft. Uh, I don't know if people actually come here. This is just like large sagebrushes that I'm driving over. And then a bunch of whoop de doos Wow, these are big sagebrushes. Oh jeez. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I still haven't gotten any telemetry signal yet, but I'm on the top of a hill now, so hopefully we'll be getting one soon. Oh, there we go, now I'm getting signal. All right, we passed waypoint number three. That's lovely. So I am somewhere up here in these dirt roads. I think I can actually see the boat here. That definitely looks like it to me. Looks like the battery voltage is remaining pretty consistent. It hasn't dropped any more, but it did drop a lot at first, so that's a little bit concerning. Ground speed is looking good. We must have a tailwind. I'm glad that we're passing a lot of these more populated areas really early in the morning. It's still 4.36, because uh, people won't be out boating for a while. I'm sure fishermen will get out pretty early, but hopefully not for a while still. Okay, I'm going to head to my next observation point. Oh boy, another sagebrush tunnel. Oh, this one's real narrow. Wow, the sides of my car is going to be so clean. But enough about me, how about you? Oh yeah, looks like the boat's doing great. Pavement. Hallelujah. Okay, I don't know where I am, but uh, I just reached the end of some sort of a road. Uh, this must be the road that it's telling me to take. Oh, may as well. Not doing anything later. This road also looks very infrequently traveled. Oh wow, there it is! That's so good! Google says this is a road. Google, you're just so wrong. Got some interesting smoky sunrise colors going on over there. Oh, I just bottomed out. These are some very deep tire grooves. It's all just dust. This place is so dusty. Oh, I need momentum. Oh, come on, baby. What have 
roughly here. So I am right here on this peninsula. And the boat's probably around right here right now. So it's probably just blocked by some hills. I just hiked up this little hill and I was able to get some telemetry signal. The boat's still pretty far back that way. So I'm just gonna hang out here and wait for it to show up. <laughs> Amazing. I'm able to pick up a little bit of FPV signal from here, so that's kind of cool. I'm gonna throw the Mavic up and get some aerial shots. A little bow, I hold a big journey Headed south on Banks Lake 3.30 a.m. Little motors, big dreams, 60 amp hours in the batteries. Are you ready? The people marked you often, but now's your time to shine. Make the people notice and hold your power up high. So the world can see What a great boat you are So the world can see What a great boat this is Maybe they'll stop judging And let you live From the Mavic, we were clearly able to see the seaweed hanging off the motor, so we gotta fix that. I feel like there's a shortcut here. From the looks of it, this road just kinda disappears up ahead. <laughs> yep, not much of a road here. Boy, oh boy, I just found the sunrise. Damn. Wow. I'm not kidding about this no road thing. There is like, Actually, no road. I'm in like four foot grass. Oh, but there's the road. It's a pretty neat place. Okay, I'm gonna stop here to see if I can find the boat. Oh, fudge, we have a motorboat out there. It should be coming. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, I'm gonna figure out if there's a place that I can uh, stop it here and pull the seaweed off. This could be the first potential collision. The camera wouldn't focus, but that boat drove right by it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so to do this, I need to turn on the remote controller and then toggle the mode switch. And let's see if this changes to manual mode. Right now it's in auto. Nope. <laughs> so that means that I don't have radio signal. <laughs> Let me try this again facing the boat. Huh. Maybe I can try putting it in... Oh, now it's in manual mode. What the heck? Now I'm just uh, driving it here, just through Mission Planner, looking at the heading. That is a bummer that I had to interrupt the autonomous mission, but I think it's best to remove that seaweed. Incoming. Ditch this, run out and grab it before it hits the rocks. Oh yeah, there's seaweed there for sure. Just a little bit, not even that much. Probably would have been fine, but best to get rid of that. Oh wait, there's seaweed tied up in the props. That's not great. Okay, got it cleared off. Bye. There's boats out there though. I'm kind of concerned about those now. So I need to now tell the boat to go back out towards its main route. Why? Because if it goes straight to the next waypoint, it might hit those two islands out there. This water is so warm. I want to swim. We got a bogey. Okay, I think it's far enough out to put it into auto mode. Yep, auto, okay, it went good. Waypoint number 11, I think that's probably waypoint 11. Yep, that's waypoint 11, okay, cool. So it's heading straight there. It should just miss that little island. So we'll just keep going and hope that fishermen don't mess with it. I'm pretty tempted to go jump off those rocks over there, but it's also six in the morning. So I should probably save that for later. If I turn this off, the boat just doesn't care. It just keeps going. Lately, I've been accumulating a lot of autonomous boats. You see, like over here we have the banana slug. Over here we have the autonomous solar-powered catamaran. A little thing that you haven't seen yet. Got the ground effects vehicle over here. All these are the pinnacle of naval technology. So there's a lot of bad guys trying to break into my house and steal my boats. What do I do about it, you ask? The answer is simply safe. <laughs>
Simply Safe is an easy to use and totally customizable home security system that focuses equally on the most up to date tech and a reliable, relationship based customer service team. Simply Safe enables you to design a system that best fits your space and ships directly to your doorstep. They've got all sorts of sensors to cover every window, room, and door, plus lots of great extras like water sensors, smoke detectors, HD cameras, and doorbell cameras. With their professional 24 7 monitoring service, if anyone tries to break in and steal my boats, their always on call team will call the authorities immediately. They've also launched a new wireless outdoor security camera that features an ultra wide lens so you can watch over your entire outdoor space. Not only that, but it also has night vision and eight time built in digital zoom so you can closely capture what's happening around the clock. Setting it up was super easy and only took minutes. Visit simplysafe.com slash rctestflight to learn more and to get at least 30% off your Simply Safe security system. Now back to the video. Oh boy, looks like there's a lot of people going fishing. Uh, oh, and I see my boat out there flashing. That's hilarious. I hear a boat coming towards it. Gotta go see if there's gonna be a collision. I think from afar, people just assume it's like a kayaker or something. Yeah, they passed it. Oh, wow, they were even pretty close to it. So that is some sort of like an island kind of state park thing over there, but I don't think I'll be able to get on top of that butte. So I think my next move is to drive around to the other side of it and hope to get a view as it goes around the other side. Right there is where I just took the seaweed off. And now we are there. <laughs> this is all just so weird. It's like apocalyptic. Chasing a drone boat. What am I doing? Zonked. It's called Steamboat Rock State Park. That's where I'm heading. I have not received any telemetry data in a while, and I think I'm not going to for a, quite a while longer because the boat is on the other side of that big butte over there. Or I guess that is the Steamboat Rock. I'm not feeling very confident about this place. I don't think I'll be able to get over to the other side of the rock to get line of sight to the boat, but I'm really surprised at how many people are camping here. Like, especially for a weekday. This place is lit. What do these people even do all day? I guess beer and boats. Oh my god, there's Santa Claus on a bicycle. Holy cow. Oh, they got peacocks and deer. That's pretty cool. Look at that. There's a whole herd. Oh, there's a peacock going crazy. Is that a peacock? Or a turkey? I don't know. I'm just searching for a little blip of telemetry data. That's all I want. And no telemetry data. I think this is the single most remote section of the mission where I just don't have any communication to the boat and it's just out of line of sight. Fingers crossed it makes it through. Oh yeah, leftover burrito for breakfast. Mm. I just stood up here on my car to get the antennas up higher and the position jumped ahead. So we made it to the other side of Steamboat Rock and now we're coming this way. So this is great. I'm just gonna hang out here for a bit and kind of monitor it and then figure out where I'm gonna go next. I don't see it, but apparently it's out there somewhere. I'm kind of suspicious that that boat is following my boat or something. I found it. It really snuck by me. I was looking more towards the north, but it's like way towards the west. Damn, there it is, <laughs> blinking along. So I just started heading to the next viewpoint. Still have telemetry data. I'm just gonna be kind of paralleling the lake for a while. Still bottoming out on these crappy dirt roads. But I think once I get out of here, there will be no more dirt. It'll just be all paved, so that'll be nice. Ah! I think I'm stuck. Oh, it's too dusty. I don't even have a shovel. What the f am I doing? Oh my god. Holy shit. This is like... This dust is like so thick. It's like quicksand. Dry quicksand. Holy sh**. Oh boy. This is just a disaster. And then I was definitely scraping along. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never seen dust like this. What if the boat beats me to the final location? Oh my god. That, what? Oh jeez, I'm fucked. Look at this. It's like a, there's literally just like silt. It's just moon dust. It's a foot deep. This is the problem. It's just high centered. Okay, I'm gonna be digging here for a while. At least it's super easy to dig. I've been digging out the wheels, but I realized that the problem is that the differentials are high centered on the middle of the road. So what I should really be doing is putting stuff under the wheels to try and get the car to lift itself out. Okay, got some branches under there. Not super hopeful about this, but let's try it out. <laughs> Fuck, I'm so fucked. It's not going anywhere. Oh, 
Hi, sorry, I, just, I think the call failed. I just barely have cell service. I can send somebody up there. The only issue is maybe a few hours or so. You're about 87 miles away from us. Well, I can't find any tow trucks within like 60 miles, so I'm gonna run back to that campsite and look for someone with a with a big truck and a good heart. I put the boat into hold mode, which basically just turns off the motors and it just sits there. My thought is that it'll just save as much battery as possible, and once I get unstuck, I can go look for the telemetry signal and hunt it back down. I feel very fortunate that I was able to put the boat in hold mode. I just barely had a telemetry signal. It was probably several miles away at that point. My bid to find a big truck and a kind heart has been unsuccessful. So I walked through that entire campsite and only found one truck with a winch. So those guys were nice enough to drive all the way out there and we brought a shovel and some boards and a jack and they were not able to get the truck with the winch close enough to my truck to tow it out because there's just too much of that silty stuff for too long on the road and I'm like right in the middle of all of it so it can't get close enough but I was actually able to dig it out with the shovel that we brought um, and I moved about 20 feet forward but then just got stuck again Woo! Woo look at that I moved from there to there that's fantastic oh now I'm stuck again but at least I moved a little bit so the guys that are helping me went over there, but we can't get through this part of the road because it's too soft. Um, we could drive through the bushes, but they didn't want to scratch up the truck. So they went around, but now the truck isn't moving. I see them way down there, probably a few hundred yards away. Um, and they're stopped, so I feel like the road is bad down there too or something. I'm not sure. So then we came back here to the ranger station, and they know of a tow truck guy in a city that's fairly close to here. So he said an hour, we'll see how long it actually takes him. Oh, but I feel really lucky because there is absolutely zero wind. So I'm just hoping that I can get to the boat before the battery dies, because if the battery dies, I'm not gonna be able to find it. It's gonna be lost forever probably. I probably have a, a pound of dirt in my lungs now. It looks fine, so I went for it and it turned out to be bad. You're not the first and you won't be the last. Yeah. I'm sure. I do about six of them a year. Yeah, the guys, they were helping me out. They they didn't think a tow truck would be able to get there. They thought I would need to find someone with a backhoe or a bulldozer or something. Oh, that was you? I was looking at that. Yep, this is right, right about where they turned around and then you can see me right down there. And you just plow through these bushes, huh? Yeah, I can see, your, uh, I can see you've been here before. I'm glad you're very familiar with the spot. <laughs> my savior shoot i guess it would have been a lot easier for you if i didn't spend two hours digging myself out to just get further in okay here we go what do you think well, I don't know if you can't back up. okay here goes nothing got it Okay, now I gotta figure out how to turn around. We're free! Honestly, I can't believe I made it as far as I did. Look how much I was dragging. All right, Jeff, you saved me. Thanks a lot. Lesson learned. Yep, lesson learned. Not gonna, <laughs> not gonna do that again. 300 bucks. And I have a boat to catch. God damn. That's the aftermath. Not so bad. Hallelujah, it connected, and it looks like it's still just in loiter mode sitting out here all these hours later, which is hilarious. It's at 12.75 volts. Not too bad, I might be able to complete the mission, imagine that. Oh, 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 this screen is very hard to see. I didn't realize it, but it looks like the boat has washed up on the shore. There's Jeff, bye Jeff! Set mode, hold, okay, it's in hold mode again. I guess I'm gonna try and go rescue the boat from the shore. It's probably getting smashed up on the rocks. Okay, the boat is apparently, according to the telemetry, on the other side of this swamp. <laughs> so now I have to figure out how to get through here. This is, oh, I've just been bushwhacking for the last 30 minutes and it's been awful. I don't even know if I can walk in this stuff. Oh yeah, it's fine. I really don't want to walk through that swamp, so I'm just going to swim out around that peninsula and then maybe drag the boat back over here so that I can uh, put it in auto mode again or something. I don't know. I totally forgot to film when I had it back here, but I swam it back, crawled through all the mud that's in between here and there. That wasn't pleasant. And sent it back out. 
Now I'm about to put it in auto mode. Let's see if this works. Okay, so now it's gonna turn towards waypoint 22. The wind has finally picked up, but luckily it's a tailwind. Hallelujah, back in business. But I'm gonna go clean my hair now. I'm definitely gonna get bit by some sort of a Komodo dragon. Now I just have to walk up to the road, which is behind that hill. Jeff, the tow truck driver, told me that there's a lot of snakes out here. So I really dodged a bullet there. Also, look at these cliffs. That's awesome, they're so big. So much dust. There's so, oh my God, how, how? How does this much dust come into the car? I don't understand. Oh, at least I got chicken mush. Now it's raining. Everything's gonna turn into mud. So I just came a few more miles down the lake to this little boat launch area and I'm gonna wait till I can get a telemetry signal. So I am right here at this kind of boat launch area and the banana slug is up there. So it would take quite a long time to finish this mission. I don't know if I have it in me. Well, I don't know if its batteries will last either. So majestic, amazing. Where am I? It's so many minutes later and there's still so much dust blowing off of my car. My boogers are black. Ow, these rocks are sharp. Way out there. I'm gonna put the Mavic up, try and get some shots of it. pretty exhausted at this point and it's like six o'clock and we have quite a few more hours to go. But on the other hand, I just flew the drone out there to look at the boat and everything's perfect. So it's just working so well, I would hate to cut it short. So I'm gonna let it keep going. I just wanna go to sleep. If I just go to the very end of the mission right now, I'm gonna be much further away from the boat. So it'll be harder to do something if anything goes wrong, but I think I might have telemetry data there. It's a clear line of sight, but it's a lot of miles. It's probably like eight miles or so. So I just climbed all the way up on top of this hill. We are very close to the end waypoint, and unfortunately there's no telemetry. Kinda wanna go find some food. Life is good. I got a burger. Got a burger down here somewhere, and I backtracked a little bit. Right now I'm like right in here, and I'm picking up telemetry signal. How about that? Oh. Well, sitting here is painfully boring, so I'm gonna go over to Cooley City and see what there is to see. It's the city at the end of the lake, way down here. I'm just wandering around the Cooley City RV park. It's a much different culture than what I'm used to. So I'm down here right now, not getting any telemetry signal yet. The boat's probably somewhere around this area. So I'm just gonna go over here to the end point and then see if I can pick anything up from there. I'm up here on this little hill now. And that's the end of the waypoint mission right there. Suddenly there started to be a, a headwind. The wind is coming from this direction now. So I hope that doesn't mess with us too much. Just got a few little telemetry blips. The ground speed is down quite a bit, which is a little bit concerning. We're making progress slowly but surely. The boat's gonna kind of pass by closer to that campground. I'm concerned because the jet skiers might mess with it. I don't know. Ah! We are getting telemetry data at the final location, so that's really exciting. Just waiting for the banana slug to round that corner. Oh geez, the turning path is all over the place. Screw it, this might be a little sketchy, but I'm gonna do a little tuning here. I just increased the steering gain a little bit since it looks like it's having trouble steering. Servo output, throttle. 1300 baby, giving it more juice. It's just getting blown further and further off course. This is not good. Once it got dark, we started <laughs> seeing it, and we can't, with binoculars, you can't see the boat, right? Like, yeah. God, is somebody drowning out there? Are their boat sinking? <laughs> Do we need to launch and go rescue? Yeah, so it's just like a, like a science project, I guess. It started at the other side of the lake. 30 miles away. Really? Um, it's been going for like 12 hours. Is it map on the bottom? <laughs> What's it doing? Nope, it's just driving. Huh? Oh, just, just autonomous, just driving itself. Huh? Just driving itself, yeah, just to kind of see if it's possible. How big is it? Um, it's about four feet long. What, what college is this 
Uh, no college, just for fun. Oh, cool. I'm just a, a nerd. <laughs> I just realized I've totally been training for this. On that really stormy day back on Lake Washington, when the boat was having trouble turning into the wind, I increased the minimum air propeller throttle so the air propeller would never fully turn off when it was turning. Because for whatever reason, sometimes when the boat was turning, the air propeller would turn off and it gets a lot of turning authority from that. So I increased the minimum PWM so that it never turns off. I don't think it's helping us hold a, a perfect course because it's still zigzagging all over the place. But it's able to turn into the wind now, so that's really good. God, what a way to finish the mission. This is brutal. The boat's making progress, but the wind is also picking up, so I'm pretty concerned. Oh, silly robots. Always doing wacky stuff. I'm getting very restless. Throttle, right, max. One, seven, zero, zero, seven, zero, zero. More chooch. More power. Just a little bit further. You can do it. I've never been so happy to see an inanimate object. No, no, this way, come over here. A little bit further, a little bit further. I don't want to get my feet wet. Come here. Oh, 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 so close. I, ah, I have shoes on. First observations. We got some seaweed in the propellers for sure. That was probably reducing the thrust. The GoPro is still taking pictures. One every five seconds. I'll cut that. Ooh, this probably slowed it down a lot. Wow, look at that, the paint is peeling off. Gnarly. That's the, that's the whole bottom right there. When it washed ashore today, I only noticed this one. I didn't notice that the whole bottom was coming off. Oh my god, I can't believe it's back. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, I want to look inside it. Okay, so I had a bunch of recycling garbage in here so that if it sank, it wouldn't sink. Yeah, there's a little water in there. I've never had water get in there, but when it's in the water for 14 hours or however long it was in there, I'm sure it's gonna happen. Well, that was a day that was definitely full of type two fun. At some parts it was awful and I was like, what am I doing with my life? But I'm sure when I look back at it in the future, I'll be like, oh yeah, good times. <laughs> but I'm just happy to get this thing back and then we completed the mission. Only cheated twice. So good, okay, I'm gonna go to bed so hard now. I just need to inflate that ultra dusty air mattress. Okay, whew, that's all for this video. That was a big one. Thanks for watching, bye.